What a difference 521 days makes. That's the time from when Vicky Mowat of the NDP lost to Jennifer Campo in April of 2016 by just 182 votes. Now, the SAS party's Campo stepped down in June, opening up the seat in Saskatoon Fairview. And on Thursday night, Vicky Mowat turned the tables completely, winning 60% of the vote and becoming Saskatchewan's newest MLA. Really, I think tonight we sent a message to the SAS party that people are not okay with their heartless cuts to healthcare and education, the desperate sell-offs of our Crown Corporations, and um, of course the tax hikes. You know, this is a message we've been hearing over and over again on the doorstep is that people want this strong representation and uh, they want someone who's going to be able to represent them in the legislature, and that's what I hope to do. Mowat's closest competitor was the Saskatchewan Party's Cameron Scott, a Saskatoon Public School Board trustee. He wasn't available for an interview today, but he told reporters last night that there were a number of factors that played a role in the election outcome. He wouldn't get into specifics, but he did say that the budget played a role. With last night's win, the NDP now has 12 seats in the legislature. They'll look to add two more, which will be very difficult for them to get. One in Kindersley, which has long been held by the Saskatchewan party and has been left vacant by Bill Boyd. There'll be a by-election in that riding very soon. And then next year, once the Premier steps down officially, we'll have to hold another by-election in Swift Current. That's been held by Brad Wall since 1999. Adam Hunter, CBC News. Regina.